It's Wes, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to share with you the 25 controls that you have at your fingertips on the Canon EOS R's back screen. Okay, I haven't counted them, but it's a lot. Let's go. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. I've owned the Canon EOS R for over a year and it's time that I confess that the best part of the EOS R is not the RF lenses, it's not the mirrorless body, it's not even the ergonomics that I fell in love with. All right, everybody, I gotta give you a heads up. There's gonna be a quiz at the end of this video. Psychology tells us if we're expected to remember, if we're held accountable for our learning, we remember more. So I'm gonna give you a quiz. You could probably already do pretty well. You'd pass probably right now because the quick control menu is such an important part of the EOS R. But I know, I guarantee you, after watching this video, you'll pass with flying colors. All right, let's go. One of the most powerful features of the ESR is the quick control menu or the Q menu. But before we go there, let's look at the basic touchscreen controls. Now everything I'm gonna cover is uh, related to manual mode. I highly recommend shooting in manual mode and shooting raw. First, power on the camera and hit the mode button. Ensure you're in photo mode. Now, any setting with a white box around it means you can instantly access that setting by tapping on it. Starting at 12 and moving counterclockwise, which I'll explain in a minute, there's a touchscreen shutter button, a shutter speed button, aperture button, ISO button, there's a magnifying glass, and a Q for Q menu. We're gonna come back to the Q. Tap the touchscreen shutter button and you toggle on or off the ability to snap a picture by touching the screen. Very handy and sometimes gets into the way, but it's handy to have that control right there. The icon is an image of the back of a camera and a hand with an index finger pointing or tapping the screen. Tap ISO and you can change your camera sensitivity to light by dragging the horizontal bar from auto at the left, then 100 ISO all the way to 40,000 on the right. Tap the back arrow that appears on the top right to select and set the current ISO. Now tap the aperture and depending on your lens, you'll be able to move from a low aperture like f1.8 or f2.8 or f4, all the way up to f22 or f30. Again, the available aperture settings are dependent on the lens you're using. Next, tap the shutter speed button and you have access to 30 seconds exposure at the far left to 1 8,000th at the far right. Now the beautiful part of the mirrorless system is that the viewfinder and the back screen automatically reflect your on the fly adjustments and They'll display how the photo or video will be captured according to your exposure settings. Unless you're using strobes, you can sit and dial in the perfect composition and exposure looking at the back screen and holding or holding the camera up to your eye. The advantage of using the back screen is that you can flip it out and have the uh, flexibility of making exposure adjustments on the touch screen and not have the camera up to your eye. So it means the camera can be above your head or down at your feet and you can adjust exposure either with the dials on the top of the camera or the touch screen. Now in video mode, you have the exact same touch controls enabled. Q, ISO, aperture, shutter speed. Uh, the video mode adjustments work the same. Tap the setting, use the horizontal control that pops up to drag to the desired setting. Hit the back arrow to select and set. Now let's look at the Q or quick control menu. First, let's acknowledge that there are two quick control menus or two Q menus, one for photo, one for video. Let's look at the photo quick control menu first. The quick menu in photo mode brings up access to 10 controls and uh, as well as the back arrow to return to live view. Let's go through them one by one. I'm gonna start at 12 o'clock and move counterclockwise. In photo mode, we have these controls on your quick menu. At the top left, you have your autofocus modes. Then you have your one shot or servo mode. You have your drive mode from single to high speed continuous, low speed continuous. 10 second timer and two second self timer. Then you have your metering mode options, your anti flicker shooting options. Then you have your image quality options, uh, always shoot raw. And you can control your auto white balance on the next one. So select your picture style, um, which allows you to have kind of standard, neutral, natural types of picture styles. Then your auto lighting optimizer and then your cropping aspect ratio where you can do one to one or um, 16 by nine, full crop, etc. All right, now let's check out the quick menu in video mode. Starting from the top and going counterclockwise, you have your focus mode button. So face tracking, eye tracking area, etc. Then you have your movie record size button. Uh, the EOS R has 14 options right there. 
uh, compared to the 5D, which only has six. And then you have your audio recording settings where you can choose auto or manual settings. Then you have your headphone volumes, which you can control with the dial up top to raise or lower the headphone volumes. Then you have a button for movie digital stabilization. So it's disabled, enabled, and enhanced, and you'll notice the crops that go with each of those to help provide stabilization. Then you have your white balance. You can click on white balance and you have a variety of preset options or you can go to your Kelvin and just hit the right arrow for warmer uh, or the left arrow to cool down the temperature of the footage. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have this which is grayed out. This is auto lighting optimizer. Uh, it's disabled in manual or B modes, and then we have HDR movie show. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it. The quiz, I struggled with whether to make it part of the video or not. But the quiz is actually gonna be linked below. It's a simple Google form, it auto grades itself, so you can see how you do on 10 questions or so about the back screen of the Canon EOS R. I hope you take it. I'll give you an option to put your email address in there in case you wanna contact me or in case I wanna give a shout out to some of the people who participated. Um, so I'd love it if you would take the quiz and give me your email address and let me reach back out to you and tell you um, how smart you are. <laughs> Remember, you're a beautiful person and a good person. And if you got anything out of this video, even if it was just entertaining and it helped pass the time while we're uh, in this uh, global pandemic situation, give it a like, uh, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, most importantly. Tell me something about the back screen that I left out of the video, I don't know at all. And uh, subscribe. If you are here for the first time and haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Uh, that's the best way you can support the channel is liking, giving a comment and subscribing. I appreciate you. I will see you in the next video and stay safe.